Oops. Oh, God. All right. I think we're back. Somehow. Didn't expect this. I have to fix something. Camera Pro. Auto. Close. Let me know if you if you see me or hear me. There we are. Mr. Long, Alfred, Manny. Hi. Today's not the day to accelerate on a yellow light, I don't think. Deborah, Fang Hei, Martine, Mike. Yeah, I had the opportunity to come back out. So I took it. Everyone is napping at home. Everybody. And a friend who lives across the street was able to come help. Shelly and Anthony, hello, welcome back. Deborah. Hyla, Ginny, hi, or oh, Ginny. Ginny? I think it's Ginny, right? Yeah, I think we covered this last time. <laughs> Green Egg, Sean, Frank. Robert. Yeah, I heard uh, that Yo Ange is driving around in a Wrangler, which is very exciting to me. They should get a Jeep sponsorship. Am I bored? I don't think I'm bored. I think I don't want to miss the opportunity to come out again when there's nothing much going on at home. <laughs> Everyone's napping. So Klee, hi. Shields is here. This is uh, everyday stuff for you. This uh, this winter weather up there, maybe. Mark Wathen, hello. I decided. To, oh, why didn't I get a vibration? Who's vibrating? Nah, it's just a. Okay, it's a group message. You know, those are always going off. Everyone's more awake now than they were this morning, so might get more messages. Yeah, I'm actually going towards the East River now. I want to see what we can see in that direction. Because I thought the snow was supposed to uh, taper off kind of soon. But it seems like it's still going strong. We could barely see across the river, actually. So let's go. Let's do it. I don't have my umbrella open. I don't know. I'm hoping that it's cold enough that the stuff's not melting as soon as it hits my gimbal. Because the umbrella with the wind just wasn't fun earlier. I was able to get a 360 video where the umbrella flew away from me. Uh, I was thinking about editing that part out, but I think I'll keep it in. No, this weekend I'm not working. Next weekend I am, though. No snow, not in Vancouver, says Shields. Only around January, otherwise you get a ton of rainfall. That's interesting. I guess I didn't uh, expect that. I should really rethink my expectations. <laughs> yeah, they've been able to get a lot more cleaning in. You know, again, the snowflakes themselves are about the same, but I guess it's the consistent downfall of the snow that's piling up. Hey, Mie's here, and Big Dog's back. Good to see you. I'm gonna do a rebalance of the gimbal. Well, not a rebalance. It's actually very, very well balanced, but I want to do a... Wow, the tide is low. I'm going to do a cal auto calibration. Okay, one second. Auto calibration. Start. Okay. Going to vibrate a little bit, but uh, it's all part of the process. Adam's back again. Hey. Oh, oh, nope, nope. The wind is affecting... Okay. But that looks much better. Okay, good. All right. Now I wonder, sorry, my mic, I'm gonna have to hit every couple of times to uh, remove the dust of snow. Yeah, we got Greenpoint somewhere over there, Long Island City somewhere over there. I mean, usually you could see it much better. Something about the snow, I guess. I don't know. Is that what the stuff is? I think we have to do some experiments to make sure. Um, so here's the river. I mean, we made it out. Didn't get to see that earlier. So let's go south. We went north before from Kipps Bay. North and west. I guess now we can go south. 
I'm, I'm, I'm putting it in my memory bank, Shields. The, the mental Rolodex is being updated. Hold on, I gotta sharpen the pencil. All right, flip to a new page. Parking lot's closed, wow. I guess they close this one in inclement weather. Um, Vancouver, Shields, West Coast, more rain and snow. Done. Oh, did I miss a super chat while I was Rolodexing? Melanie Martin with the $5 super chat. Woohoo, love the extra walking commuter content two in one day. Thank you, Melanie, appreciate it. Yeah, it's not, it's not an everyday thing that I get an opportunity to come out again. So I took it and we did it. Oh, Urbanus is not, not far away. Murray Hill is kind of in that direction. Kips Bay pretty much borders Murray Hill. The question is, how long will my setup survive round two while I'm not using the umbrella? Maybe I'll just open it for, for fun. It's, a, it's an estuary. Yes, happy-go-lucky. Not a real river, technically. It's also salty because of that. Right. Exactly what you wrote. <laughs> DTUK is here, too. Hey. I mean, people will slide down any hill they find. Stytown, where I grew up, was a fun place for that because there are already are hills there for you to use. So people took out their sleds. Some people even got little snowboards and took rides down the hill. It happens. It worked for us kids, city kids. The streaming drain your batteries? Asked John Yenner. Yes, it does. I changed my battery bank to one that keeps up the charge uh, faster and actually charges it up while streaming instead of slowly trickle charging and actually draining. But so nobody cleaned this spot and the wind makes the snow much deeper than it actually is below my feet. Sunshine after rain, hey. Okay, this is gonna exert a lot of energy. <sighs> What footwear do I have on today? Those hiking boots. What is it? Oboes or something? O B O Z. Jonathan finished work for the daytime to play. Well, for me, thankfully, it wasn't working. Oh, something just, it, it all got in my shoe. That's fine. No biggie. One unnamed YouTuber. I'll name him. It's Casey Neistat. But yeah, he's done some winter stunts in New York. See, the only thing is with the snow hitting the gimbal setup is that the battery heats stuff up, so it might still melt when it hits it. Let me know if the audio becomes muffled because the uh, dead cat windscreen is slowly collecting snow. And at some point, it's going to make a little shell around the microphone. How much faster do I usually walk down this spot? I feel like I'm at one eighth pace. The Easter River froze about a hundred years ago, says Cynthia. That's interesting. I've always wondered about that because it is a salty water, salty body of water. And I would imagine it has to be consistently below a certain temperature first few days in a row for that to even come close to happening. So Marth, hello. Giggle Bunny, good afternoon. Did we hit afternoon yet? I assume we did. Okay, let's not do that again. Huh. All right, a break. Shinzi, well, we took a, a good break. You know, ate some food with the fam. They all got tired, took naps. A friend is there in case the baby wakes up. And that's it, we're doing it.
That van is making some weird noises. Still late morning in H-Town, right? Yep, you guys are an hour, an hour back. I think they usually put salt down here. Sometimes they see sand, but mostly salt. And I'm assuming the promenade, sorry, the esplanade by Waterside Plaza is closed. I'm walking by the water club. This is a private event space now that you rent out. I don't believe you could just show up there and eat dinner anymore. Not sure you ever could, but maybe you could have. My feet are all, actually the, my feet were pretty dry for the whole morning stream. And these shell pants that I have are very effective as well. I don't have my backpack either. I don't need it because I don't need my extra gear because I already took a, a 360 and a 4K video. I mean, I hope they turned out okay. I have no idea. I hadn't had a chance to transfer and review the footage. So actually, this is a good chance for me to go to Stytown and show you how we used to do this. Maybe there's some kids out there right now sledding. Judy, yes. So we're gonna have to go right here and go by the parking garage. Dwayne says, pure wool socks are hard to find. I know Mrs. Commuter got me some smart wool socks. I don't know if those are pure or not, but they were pretty good, I just couldn't find them. And now that she's uh, napping in the bedroom again, I couldn't go in there to dig in the closets. So, still wearing the same socks from this morning, which are just regular work socks, but they actually stayed dry. After walking in that deep snow, might be a different story when I come back later. But yeah, I don't think baby commuter's ready for sledding yet. We even put her on a little slide, uh, or I'm sorry, on a little swing, and we tried to slide too, and she really didn't like it yet. I don't think she's ready. She'll get there. Bellevue Hospital's on my right. Yeah, definitely cars on the road. Traveling slowly, thankfully, because the FDR still looks like a mess. I'm seeing the ground there. Yep, Shields just turned one last weekend. That's pretty impressive, Cynthia. I mean, I'd love to see that in our time now. Emma, good afternoon. I mean, it's no, well, blizzard conditions, I think, are also defined by wind speed, right? I forget the threshold of wind to, uh, to qualify as a blizzard. But anyway, there might be some other criteria that I'm missing. Thank you, Shields. Thanks, God love. Karina, hi. Are the dogs not enjoying the weather? I feel like the floofy one would be. Is this typical for January? Well, it's typical to be cold, maybe even not this cold, but the snow, you never know what you're gonna get. Adam thinks he might hit 37K subs this jaunt. I, that'd be nice. I welcome everyone, new and old alike. And then you can go to the Discord and use the memes. Atarva, yes, this would be round two of streams for the day, so we are out twice. There will not be a third time, I'm sure of that. This was uh, one that could happen. ASMR, ASMR, I don't know if I did, but hello. Only a hundo more, says me. All right, let's do this. YouTube. Share. Algorithm. Snow. New York, Manhattan. Hashtag. <sighs> Sorry. Now we're not close to 40 yet. A one-year-old is learning to ski better than you? Oh my goodness. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if a computer could do that stuff. 
She's very adventurous. And she is standing and taking a few steps, but I don't think she's confident enough just yet to fly. I mean, if I grab her hand while she's standing, she moves very quickly, so I think she, she can do it soon, but on her own, she's still apprehensive. DJ Khaled says, another one. That's right. Uh, we are uh, unofficially DJ Khaled's number one New York City walking commuting stream. <laughs> Kidding. Oh, is Allie here? Hey, bookish horse girl. That name might sound familiar to you, but maybe not in the newer updated version. But in case you are wondering, that is who that is. Sue, keeping the, you want me to keep the snow here? I'll do it. I will keep the snow. I don't think the seaplanes are running today. No tie downs are overnight. Absolutely not. We're we heading back to the Williamsburg Bridge. I don't think I'm gonna go that low. Plus, they closed off so much of the East River path. I don't like walking along it anymore. So I'm gonna go into Peter Cooper and Stye Town. And you hopefully you get to see what some of the kids do when there's a nice winter snow day. And we'll check the gas prices. Looks like this might be a private vehicle with a plow on the front. No work today, Allie. No, no, no. Next weekend I am, though. Ooh, they raised the prices. Look at that. Five bucks a gallon now. Oh, let me clean off the uh, mic one second. Sorry if there's a little weird rustling sound. I think this is the times when the cars need little uh, headlight wipers. Yeah, I thought that the, um, well, I don't know, what's, what's the latest in New York? I'm not as fully up to date, but I figured, I thought I read that because of the established infrastructure for uh, remote learning, that snow days wouldn't, wouldn't uh, be a thing really anymore. Uh, no, Shields, it's, I, I work the normal five days, and then if I work a weekend, that just means I get the luck the opportunity. Sorry, they started, they started not calling it a, like, <laughs> work, but an opportunity to work 12 days in a row. It's a 12-day opportunity. I'm sorry. Girk, the weather looks a little funny. It's probably because there's no Volvos on the screen. That's the problem. You know, if only you could see a couple of Volvos. Yeah, right, Mia, what an opportunity. <laughs> yeah, this one, is, this one in particular, this gas station is always quite expensive. That's just how it is. Now, there's no hills in Peter Cooper. There are hills in Stuyvesant Town. So, I, I mean, I guess I could go in here and show you, but I, I, don't, I don't assume anyone's actually doing any kind of winter sports. And the snow isn't really good for snowballs unless someone is adding water to the mix. A few folks are out here, but they should go to the Stytown side. It's the day to do it, Ellie. It's the day to do it. Opportunity, right? <laughs> yeah, anyway. To create resignation. One day, you know, I'm trying to put out feelers to other companies, too. If Google is here and they want to hire me, I'll, I'll do whatever you want. This is the day for all the Wrangler Jeeps. Yeah, it sounds like Yo Ange is out there with her husband driving around in their Wrangler. That sounds fun. This is the Wrangler day. Carol, hello. No, just one pair of socks. My feet don't really get cold. All right, so see, 
Here's Peter Cooper. There's a few folks out here, but it's all flat. We gotta get to Stytown to see the hills. And I doubt the playgrounds are open here. Because uh, especially if they have equipment in them, extra trouble for the kids. Yeah, the wind is moving around all the snow that's already fallen. Ha! I fall on the shields. It's only because I run hot. The rest is speculative. Bum bum bum. Um, I guess we're closer to the Stytown entrance over there. I guess we'll go this way. Stytown Fitness is here. I don't know if they're actually open. I guess they've frosted all their windows. Can't look in. Henriette from the Netherlands. Hey, it's a good amount of snow. It's a good amount of snow. HG in Central Europe. Hi. The wind is doing a good job not blowing in the microphone. Well, I do have a nice dead cat windscreen. There's some garbage trucks with the snow plows attached to the front. That's how they do it here. Makes sense, right? Good repurposing. Repurposing? Repurpose? Whatever. I'll wait for the light to change so we can see them in action. And it'll make it harder for me to cross the street. So that's going to be good. 58 degrees in Miami with a fast wind. All right, this is going to be fun. As soon as these, these snow plows pass by, it'll be much harder for me to cross the street. Let's do it. In New Rochelle, are using skis to cross the street, Valley Girl for Life says. How self if it's Stytown. Yes, it is Stytown. I'm just going to wait for the light to change so you can see the snow plows in action. Oh, they actually lifted it. No, wait, they're going into Stytown? I didn't know they'd do that. I thought Stytown does their own stuff because I did not summon the voice assistant. That's why we just got a blip. How long is this forecasted for? I looked at the weather again. Now I'm seeing hourly potentials for like the next few hours still, or maybe until like four o'clock. But I don't know how much more is gonna actually accumulate. Bruh, yes, yeah, still snowing and we're, st we're back out. We took a little break. All right, let me, let me go on the mainland of Stytown. Stytown has like these islands, kind of, but not really. House Elf loves NYC. Like Dobby, the house elf. Like this area here is like on an island, I would call it. And we're on the mainland of Stytown. Because you can, you can go to all the rest of the mainlands of Stytown without crossing the street. There's like four, what I would call islands here, if that makes sense. They're separated by the loops, like the 20th Street Loop, the 1st Avenue Loop, 14th Street Loop, Avenue C Loop. Anyway, let me stop. <sighs> See, here's a hill. This is exactly what I was talking about. This is, this is my youth right there. Shields, I did not. I did not. I did not. But yeah, there's the, uh, this is what we did as, as kids Careful. in Stytown. Oh yeah, this is metal here. Slippery. That's why she was saying careful. So this is what we did. We would uh, we would get little sleds and and go down the hills. They're not small hills. I mean they're not big, but it's nice to get a little. No, if only shields. If only. Hold on. Let me let me clean up the microphone. I know Chris Bates here has one recently. He switched out his Tesla. I used to live in Sidetown. I grew up here. But these hills are decent, like you can go down pretty quickly. Never went sliding down the hills, Dwayne. Well, you probably have other places you can go to that are more exciting up there, right? Your niece was raised in, Sty in Stytown House Elf, still here? That's good, hopefully that means she has the uh, old rent stabilized prices. Because they're really big about getting rid of these people, myself included. So that was a fun time. Sure, thank you, Bear in the Garden, for coming back. Um, Michelle, yes, we are live in Manhattan. Currently in Stuyvesant Town. Oh, the oval's kind of open for the from the inside, but there's not much you could do on the inside right now because the snow is not going to be good for 
balls. <laughs> but it is a winter wonderland. Yeah, I think this was a nice place to grow up. All my, I've maintained a lot of my childhood friends from the, from the neighborhood. You see them in the chat sometimes. Mercury Moments, R2D2, R2 see you. It's few. I mean, I guess they did upgrade some things. Like we didn't have all these um, places in the corners like this oval studio. We didn't have anything when we were growing up here. Did I go to 104? Yeah, the junior high school 104, middle school 104, junior high school 104, whatever they call it. Simon Baruch, I did. Well, only for a year, actually, because I first went to um, Salk School of Science. Hey, Teresa, welcome back. Frost Loco says snow is never good for balls. I'm going to check the hill that I used to go on. I feel like it's a little farther away from the excitement. It's closer to Con Edison. I feel like, <laughs> Adam, I feel like that's pro a probably more normal reaction or thought than people would care to admit. And it's probably why some of those dash cam videos are so popular on YouTube. So I don't know. Yeah, me too, Hassel. Georgia boy, hey. I did a nice job cleaning around here. That's good. I wonder why no one's playing basketball. What's up with that? Ellie, you went to 104 also? Nice. Yeah, I, I switched over from Salk. It was a newer magnet school that they put inside PS40. Um, but they didn't have... My mom switched me out because they didn't have, like, all the Regents classes. So she took me out. And I was okay with coming out, too. Yeah, there's my, my hill. Seems less popular than the one we just walked by. I mean, we definitely have quite a few magnet schools. We even have some school buildings that have multiple schools. It's like more than one school, more than two schools, more than three schools. I think the Martin Luther King School on Amsterdam Avenue now has more. Nicaragua, oh, you probably don't have much snow at all. Unless you go up an altitude or something. But either way, glad to have you. Well, we're, we're in Stuyvesant Town now. It's pretty much its own neighborhood now. Pretty much. Keeneland, just passed your building. Cool. Yeah, all the buildings over here are named for the Oval. And the ones over here are named for like 14th Street or Avenue C, depending, because Avenue C is over there. 14th Street is over there. That they are, Dwayne. You know, you definitely know which people have been here for the long, longest time because they don't have air conditioners at all. Or they only have one or two air conditioners. That, must, that means they were here for a long time because the apartment was renovated. Each room got an air conditioner. If it was most recently renovated, they got through wall air conditioners instead of in window. Like, uh, like those up there. Yeah, 14th through 20th is Stytown, 20th to 23rd is Peter Cooper, and then uh, it's from Avenue C to First Avenue, essentially. Adam, I exist on all planes of the space-time continuum, so I am here and there simultaneously. Don't listen to me. Jason with a Tesla logo, hey. Yeah, so that's how I can tell if people have been here or they were able to hand down the apartment officially to their kids by, um, by the air conditioner situation. And Peter Cooper, I think, are nicer apartments than Stytown. I think they're a little, that complex is a little bit newer. Now, if we cross over 14th Street, we'll get into Alphabet City a little bit. Oh, 
Oh, wow, they put up a new building over there? Whoa. I mean, what used to, hold on, I have to walk to, over to, I have to go up 14th and take a look from a distance because I haven't seen, I haven't seen 14th from this view in a while. And uh, like those, that building is new. The building on the other side of that older red and white one is new. Is it sli it's slippery or where they cleaned it? Because they compressed part of the snow, I think. Zihada, hello. Fang, you delivered some food here while doing Uber Eats. It's not, it's not a fun place to navigate for folks delivering, especially if you're in a car, because some of the buildings are less accessible by, by cars. Even by bike, it can get confusing. Yeah, like Sally Beauty. I forget, I forget what was even there. Ooh, slippery. But it was like a, I forget exactly what was there. I know one of them was like a Bargain Bazaar, Bargain Express building. Auto Shrunken Heads, yes. Wait, where is it? I think that was it. Did it close down? Shoot, it might've closed down. I think it did. I think that was it, wasn't it? Anyway, I don't know. That's unfortunate. It is still open. So what was I thinking about? There's something is that it must be something else that I'm thinking about over there. There was another place right there that was a nice little bar. Then I don't know what that was. Okay. Maybe Auto Shrunken Head is around the corner. I don't know. My memory is uh, failing me at this point. Always sad me, always sad. Because somebody put a lot of effort to put that place out there and try to maintain it. It's got to be like, it's got to be difficult to just have to shut it down. Yeah. Milo and good to see you too. RJ, welcome back. Oh, Otto's on the other side of A. Okay, good, good. That was a tiki bar, I think. Right there, the one I'm thinking of, but not Otto's then. Mercury Moments has made it. Did you get out there and take some, take some photos? I know you were hoping to. I think it's an ectoplasm. We're popping into Alphabet City when I cross the street here. But pretty much. New Trader Joe's is over there also. I mean, it's not that new, but it's new enough. They extended uh, the L train entrance to Avenue A, which would have been useful when I was growing up. That's Dye Town Gourmet Deli wasn't here. One of our main delis was on the corner when this target, where this target was. So was our uh, pizza place that we enjoyed. It was called Pete's A Place, P-E-T-E-S, A Place, Pete's A Place. Get it? Me too. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait, I'm not gonna. Stevie Galloway's made it, hey. They usually salt the roads here, salt. I mean, I guess maybe sometimes there's, I, I usually see salt. Sea salt. <laughs> All right, Avenue A. Well, we've done Avenue A before, but let's let's go a little bit on it, I guess. They're salting, doing nothing with the wind. No, I'm like. I mean, definitely not enough because the wind is powerful. Weak, not just powerful. I realize. Reminds me of The Simpsons. Bikes bar. I feel like this place has been here for a little while. There was a little Asian market that they opened here. I wonder if it's still around. Johnny Air Mart. I think it still is, but maybe it's just closed today. I think it's just today. I think I saw it open the other day. Let's see. Color and chat with... It gets cut off with Joe, and then I see ellipses, but uh, Jealous in Dallas for $10 Super Chat. Thank you. Appreciate the, the donation. W2, hey, a little bit of snow. 
we got something we, we asked we asked for, I guess, a little bit. Ooh, look at that mural. Hold on, I'm gonna cross. I'm also like double checking that the cars fully stop um, I'm, yeah, I'm going to before look. they start sliding. Oh, what was the full name, Mia? I could see it when you add it. Color and chat with Joanna. Joanna, got it. Thank you, Joanna, for the super chat. Here's the mural that I was looking at. I feel like the um, some of the snowflakes are a little bit bigger. Maybe there's a little bit more moisture in there as it gets warmer. Mercury moments. A year and a month of membership. Thanks as always, Josh. Appreciate the support. It's like, uh, I don't think this was here when I was growing up. I guess I don't remember this. It's like uh, the earth and the heavens or something. I don't know. Ah. I guess they're gonna put a new residential building in between those two buildings. That one's a new building too. Couldn't they somehow just make it into two? I guess not. Anyway. You gotta be careful walking on some of these uh, gates on the ground. We're in Lower East Side. Oh, I guess more of the Alphabet City here. It's kind of its own area now. Right, Adam, would you say that? One second, gotta brush off the mic. Sorry, sorry if you hear a bunch of noise. <sighs> Thanks, Joanna. I mean, I'm actually pretty comfortable, but I won't turn down cocoa or coffee. That's right, Shields. That's right. I smell something kind of burning. I don't know what it is. I wonder if it's some of these snow blowers or plows getting a little too much use. We actually just got a bunch of cookies yesterday. <sighs> yeah, right, Adam? Not good. Hopefully it's just what I said it is, not something like something else. The wind seems lighter. The snow, eh, I feel like it's been like this. About the you know, same size of the flakes. Dave E is here. Hello. I can buy Tompkins Square bagels. I wonder how busy they are today. I'm gonna get the same marks and maybe go right. Tompkins Square Park will be on my left. MYOB will be visiting in March. Cool. Tompkins Square bagels. Eh, it looks pretty busy in there. Do the buses run in the snow? They do. They put chains on the tires. Maybe if we see one, I'll show you the, an example. That's area's pretty, uh, pretty hustling and bustling. Am I wearing a hat today? I am wearing a hat. Do I need it? Yeah, I probably do. It's less than 20 degrees. Oh, okay, just made it. And Joanna says, you know, it's bad when the food trucks are gone. Yeah. Um. <sighs> the square park. The dogs are in the makeshift skate park. Blank Street Coffee. Looks good. 
Village Square Pizza is open. Two hands, oh, Korean corn dogs, I think. And then this is Ralph's Italian Ice, which I think is really open, only open in the spring and summer and early fall. Luz Colon, glad you're enjoying. Doc Holiday's, never been here. W2 says borscht is better comfort food. Grandma used to make borscht all the time. Bush. Tompkins Square Park. Trying to hear dogs are jealous. Ha, ah, New York's a, a unique place, that's for sure. Rama, is your comfort food shields? Hey, I support it all the way. Plus, the actual data linking sodium intake to uh, essential hypertension is not super great. I think that's just one of those assumptions, if that makes sense. Uh, I think this is uh, 8th Street, yeah. But I've been uh, making more home ramen recently. You know, one of those shin ramen packets. And then I add some sesame oil. Uh, and this, this garlic chili oil called Zindru, like Z-I-N-D-R-E-W, I got it on Amazon. And I poach two or three eggs in the, in the ramen at the end. <sighs> Ends up being a pretty good meal. I just made it for the friend who's watching Baby Commuter and Mrs. Commuter sleep. <laughs> Sounds weird when I put it that way. Yeah, New York City's not for everybody. It gets a little busy for the people who don't like it. Uh, this crowded, this busy, I mean, it's not super crowded today, but it actually gets much narrower with less people because of all the snow. You know, the sidewalks feel much more cramped because there's less walkable, or easily walkable spots, paths. Uh, Shin Ramen's your jam too, big dog. You add turkey spam slices in, nice. Yeah, this one time we had this leftover mapo tofu, which I think has ground pork in it. But I added the leftover of that to the ramen. Ooh, that was something. I call it scallions thing. Scallions, there were scallions in my household. Interestingly though, Fang, interestingly, even though I call it scallions in English, in Russian, we always called it zelony luk, which is green onion. But I never translated it to green onion for the English variant, so I always got scallions. What am I talking about today? But anyway, that's that's what I'm talking about. Because <sighs> in Russian, zelony is green, luk is onion, and that's it. You call them salad onions in the UK. Wow, I didn't realize there were so many regional Variations of uh, green onions, scallions, salad onions. What a time to be alive. Adam is eating a kale salad? What happened, Adam? What happened, Adam? I tried this place once. It wasn't great. I'd, I'd have to give him another chance or two to see. Billy Squatch, I did it. I made a recording earlier with a 360 video. I haven't reviewed it yet, so it might have turned out like garbage. I haven't had a chance to. <laughs> Why is Russian grammar so hard to learn? I couldn't tell you because I'm still terrible at it. <laughs> Mie likes kale. I mean, I don't mind it if it's prepared. A certain way where it's overwhelming overwhelmingly filled with other stuff. <laughs> Spring onions too, interesting. Yeah, like I, I cannot see myself just eating kale like from nothing or with nothing. I don't feel like I would enjoy it that. It's in the same category as like collard greens for me. It has to be manipulated.
Oh, there's like a, a Polish meat market that my grandma used to go to in this area on 2nd Avenue. Sorry, the voice assistant just activated. Stuffed cabbages, yes. Um, what was the name? Golubtsi. I think that's what my grandma called them. Golubets. That might not, is that even a Russian food or is that more of a, uh, like a Georgian food? I don't know, but grandma made those. Yes, Bufai, yes. Well, Golub is picked pigeon. Yeah, but Golub, yes, yeah, that's the, uh... I don't know if it was a real buffer because I activated the voice assistant again. Shields, you getting hungry? What time is it in Vancouver? Is it three hours difference between here and you? Daryl, yes. Grandma is 86. Nine forty, got it. So that's, that sounds like a three hour difference. No tax stuff today, Shields? By the way, I don't want to ask any tax questions in case, because your consulting fee is high. Janice in Budapest, hey. I'm not still out. I, I, I was home for about two and a half hours. Go, go, not pre-recorded, we are live. I have two short pre-recorded videos that I took earlier. I would like I would have liked them to be longer, but it was time limited. I mean at the moment the Shin Ramen, Shin Ramen is my main go-to. I'm not well versed in all the brands of uh, ramen. Yes, everything is live for you because you are watching it in your sense of being live. Like, I might not be live, but you are, in your sense, viewing it real time for you. What am I saying? Let's not, let's not go nuts here. Well, looks like they forgot the S in St. Mark's Place. Brian Williams is here, taking a break from the nightly news to discuss Russian grammar. Brian Williams is also very invested in the uh, Royal Rumble. Which I think Big Dog might be excited about too. I'm just glad that it's on a Saturday, not a Sunday. Which one, Happy Go Lucky? The one behind me is the one that got torn down already. I'll uh, I'll turn around after I cross. <sighs> oh, consulting fee is dictated by your, by your work. And you get a lot of American clients. That's interesting. Why is that? So. This is, I'm assuming the tax stuff between here and you guys is different enough that now you have to like navigate two different systems. Oh, I missed your salad ingredients, Adam. Well, I, I think it might it might have uh, redeemed <laughs> the kale part. Shoot! Can you copy and paste them in again? Maybe I won't. I won't miss it this time. Joanna's dogs love snow. 
think the, the floofier the dog, the more they like the snow, right? I feel like that's a, uh, a safe bet. Still 16 degrees. Jeff's not much of a WWE fan, but you're gonna watch the Rumble tonight. I feel like the Rumble's a good one to watch, a good pay-per-view. Cause you know, you might get some, uh, some surprise guests coming out. Although I, I'm a little annoyed that they announced so many of the people for um, the Women's Rumble. They should let some of those be surprises, but I guess they wanna get higher viewership and that's how they, they try to pull them in. I see Shields, I see, I, I, I see, see. C. Yes, sorry. It's like a tongue twister. No cube spinning today, it seems. Actually, why is it so closed off? Is it a uh, compromise somehow? Oh, it actually might be. Look at the, uh, look at the b base of it. Oh, did I miss the support? Agi with the HUF 2000 from Budapest, Hungary. Good to watch New York from the warm room. Thank you, Agi. Agi, Agi. If you want to correct me on your name, please feel free. I, I do like to be accurate if I can. After see that, see how it's like lifted a little bit. I think there is something wrong with it. Wegmans is coming. This is where Kmart used to be. Also, Facebook's offices are here. I forget exactly how many floors Facebook has in this building, but it's quite a few. They have quite a few floors in this building. Well, Wegmans is not coming until 2023. I don't know what they're doing in there. It's gonna take them that long to put it together, but it better be good. No, I'm just kidding. Starbucks. I always say this when I come here sometimes. There's, there was another Starbucks right where that CVS was. So there was a place where you could be, uh, at, you could see a Starbucks from another Starbucks. Well, I think it's still Facebook. Meta is just like the umbrella term for the, for the company, right? Of all their endeavors or something. I don't know. Josh Mercury Moments with a $10 super chat. Super sticker, technically. Thank you, Josh. Again, this app, unfortunately, does not tell me uh, what the sticker looks like. Tom, Mrs. Kmart. Yeah. Thanks again, Josh. JC. The voice assistant activated again. That's what that was, if you saw the glitch. Approaching Broadway. Time check, what is it, about 12.50 now? Yeah, 12.46, okay. Thanks, Nightbot. I think Cash Jordan showed an apartment in this building the other day. He's showing more apartments than the, uh, like the smaller East Village ones, where you can just rent a room. These shell pants make a lot of whooshing. I think this AT&T store used to be GameStop. I don't know why anybody would care at this point, but I just remember that vaguely. Let me cross. Romacek, 75, Adam, hold on. Let me, uh, let me back up here. Now open. Uh, ten dollars. Well, thank you, Adam. Sorry, I didn't want for you to like have to super chat. Just tell me your ingredients. But thank you for that, Adam, as always. But it was cauliflower, broccoli, rice, shredded kale, oven crispy chicken, goat cheese, roasted sweet potatoes, chopped almonds, sliced apples, and maple syrup vinaigrette. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, really? Yeah, I only want to get that many. I know. My mom's out. Well, she's more in the middle of Long Island, but I think they got quite a bit. Uh, her neighbor's pretty nice, so they usually will come up her, up her driveway with their snowblower, or whatever it's called. Alex, bro, with the five pounds. Thank you again, Alex. 
I know you've supported us for a while as well. Thank you. Yes, where are the origins of that salad, Adam? Ah! <laughs> yes, Adam with your four dogs, seven cats, two blocks away, and you have the job. Good. <laughs> this reminds me of that Captain America thing. I know that reference. I understood the reference, maybe that's what it was. Just salad. Ah, I'm familiar with just salad. Ronald, I mean, it's also a bit filled with winter weather. Hey, there's some pigeons. Kind of precise. Hello, Jeff. Brett Schneider says what? Yeah, next week's going to warm up here too, right? The next whole five days are just slowly creeping upwards. At least from what I noticed when I checked the daily weather. <sighs> lazy Sundays. They're so lazy, they're closed. I'm just kidding, kidding. The boil, this is the place. This is the place. My favorite uh, Cajun boil in, uh, in New York at the moment. Haven't had a better one. Their boil sauce is very good. Now, it's not cheap, but it's good. I guess, I don't know, if, you, if you're not familiar with uh, boil, Cajun boil, it's like when they take a bunch of seafood, dump it in a bag with uh, a lot of seasoning, and they just boil it up. But if you are familiar with a boil, it has other terms uh, similar to like an abscess or a carbuncle or whatever. So that may be off-putting to some. <sighs> the boil in New Orleans is great. I would, ima I would imagine the boil in New Orleans is, is better. <laughs> I would imagine. It is, Wayne, it is. Boil sauce. Well, it's, it's essentially just their, like, spicy, garlicky sauce. It's good. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm a little past it now, so I can't go back to the menu, but you should be able to search it up by the Boil NYC. I think that's their website. Well, here's Washington Square Park. Washington Muse is open. Should I check first? Because that, that might be a nice little street. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into Washington Square Park, but I think under the arch. I want to see if Washington Muse is open. I don't know. This is ramen weather sticks? Yes. Is it open? Is it open? I think so. Let's walk in the middle. Oh, maybe it's not a good idea to walk in the middle. Let me walk on the other side. All right. Because that guy is blowing snow right into the middle. And I don't want to interrupt his uh, cleaning of that side. It turned out my heated gloves take the same exact batteries as my last heated gloves. So I was able to just swap them out before I left. Oh, Marzo, I mean, snow in New York is not the first time it's happened. It's just we don't get it as frequently as I think people expect. So 
people do like to tune in and watch it, so that's why we're here. Yeah, right now, I think the wind is pelting more snow that's already landed back up into my face. So that's nice. Thank you, wind. I do appreciate that. I don't know what sign that. What sign? What that sign says. Ooh, Washington Square Park looks like it might be pretty busy with stuff. Martian go hello. I got these gloves off Amazon. I actually like this current set. Um, I, I usually search for the ones that have touchscreen capability and have the largest battery capacity. Since I like these, I'll probably link. The, I'll change my description up to add them. And I'm gonna add this new adapter too for my audio. Ooh, speaking of audio, one second, I have to, I have to smash the mic. Okay, sorry. Is that guy turning left? Yes, I'm gonna let him turn. Now we'll go. All right. They are gloves, yes. With heating elements. I think they're in all the fingers. Maybe not the thumbs. I don't know. I, no, I, I feel something in the thumbs. That's right, Adam. And the wind might also own 17 dogs. I'm just kidding. chance for Long Island you will move to Florida to enjoy the warmer climate. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Hey, someone is skiing around. A little cross country, I guess. Why not? Wait, why do I... It smells so strongly of pine all of a sudden. I don't know why. Anyway. Can I head towards Broadway? Broadway's back in that direction. We did pass by it a little bit. What's on this tree? Is this tree like sprouting something in the dead of winter? Or is it something else? Is, uh, froze together on my left at, at the corner of it. I, I got him unstuck. Don't worry. Oh, what is he about to do? Hold on. I'm a little nervous to miss this. <laughs> I'm curious what he's going to do. Somebody tried to build a little snowman. One thing I would suggest is a helmet, but well, didn't work, but he, he's okay. <laughs> Jack, thanks for stopping in. Uh, Prince Street, I think it's a little bit more south of us, right? We might, we might make it over there. Looks like he's not gonna do that again. You know, Adam, I have been in the market for a toilet brush. And how am I supposed to buy one if we don't have their salesman? People are out enjoying the winter weather. Is there any outdoor dining going on? Well, normally there could be. I guess as long as people have cleaned up establishments have cleaned up the area and have their heaters on maybe but even even with the heaters I don't know today's a pretty cold day oh was it actually suspended like 
they claim it's suspended because they need to clean the streets. Because I think originally all these outdoor shacks were supposed to be easily removable for cleaning purposes, but that never happened. Jeff, you drove a cab in NYC from 75 to 86. Wow. Yeah, you gotta get on every corner. I mean, that was back in the day where you really had to know it because it was either that or you have to check a map all the time. Now everyone's got Google Maps in their pocket. No, there's no more tower records. Wild West, yeah, I can imagine. I didn't get to the States until 91 from Russia. Yeah, that's right, we do have the world in our pockets. So you'd think that learned helplessness would be less of an issue, but uh, apparently it's still a thing. I think the main issue with, with all of that is that maybe some people who misquote or misinterpret good sources on the internet were never really, like, in their schooling, didn't really learn how to research and validate sources or something. I don't know. I'm just, maybe I'm just speculating. Who knows? I won't get into it. There really are a lot of heated gloves on Amazon, but I feel like they're all probably from, like, the same company because the batteries are, like, interchangeable, at least the ones I have. Skyscraper Junkie, welcome back and thank you. Hey, that wind really wants to get some snow in my eyes. McDougal, let's do it. Oh, actually, we should go a little more west. We always go down McDougal because we're, we're, we're forced to go more that way to commute on Fridays. I don't know if my breathing's irregular. It's just the microphone's pretty close to my face. The snow kind of makes you exert a little more energy to traverse it. Adam, celebrating milestones, but also in trouble. $37, you did it. You did it, a placebo, 37K. We did it, thanks, Adam. Appreciate the... Uh, Milestone support, continued support, all of it. And helping us. I will wait. Three sheets saloon, that's bigger than I thought it was. And that was the McDonald's that closed down, that's unfortunate. But thank you, Adam, and thanks for the congratulatory 37. Sorry. RJ is, I mean, if you get to hear any sirens. Uh, I mean, that's also a good thing, hopefully. We need to pop into the, into the West Village here, right? Right, Adam? For your celebratory donation, we go to your favorite place. Is Dunkin' Donuts open? Yeah, it should be. They rarely close for things. <laughs> Wait, Big Daddy Diner? Or was that... Oh, no, that was just the, their Big McDonald's? Ah, I thought it was like another Big Daddy Diner or something. That's a, that's a fun place. It's on Park Avenue. Oh, the, that Mickey D's is the one in uh, the Big Daddy movie. I see. Sandler. Oh, let's not. Let's not go. Mercury moments added again. 
Ten dollar super sticker. Thank you, Josh Mercury Moments. You do too much, but thank you. Judy, thanks. Thanks for the wishes of warmth. I'm doing okay. The one thing I could use are some goggles, but at the same time, I'm sure they would fog up every second. So we, we do what we can. That's right. If you're new to the channel, think about joining us on a more consistent basis if you want. Subscribe. Maybe YouTube will notify you. Maybe not. I don't know. I hear it's inconsistent. Slaughtered lambs coming up on the left. Yes, I see it, Adam. You know, the cold is a bit of a hurdle in terms of getting out there. Somehow I've... It's going. I've done it twice today, but I'm getting a little tired. I mean, how long have I, uh, how many steps have I done so far today? I should check. I feel like we've walked quite a bit. Let me see if I can see my watch. I'm at 26,000 steps so far. Not bad for only being half the day. Isn't the, uh... yes, ramen, yeah, yes, that's a good ramen place. My speech is as common as an airline pilot. I guess that's good. I felt the vibration. I guess it sounds like the baby has woken up. Patisserie Claude. 50k step stream. I don't know if I'll get that far. I'd need to go for another like three hours, I think. I think these steps also count for more in the snow. Like each one is a higher energy expenditure than if it was completely snowless on the ground or clean. I don't know what I'm saying. Who says snowless? I will sleep good this evening. Well, I guess that's not up to me. That's up to a baby commuter. I think it was originally going to slow down around noon, but it sounds like it's going to keep keep going for a little while. What was the question then? Uh, this is not a blizzard, no. Blizzard also has very specific uh, conditions for it to be, to qualify as a blizzard, apparently. Zilch is back. With a 49.99 super chat. Snow! Thank you for the walk, my friend. Thank you, Zilch. Appreciate all your recent support. Thanks for joining and supporting. Very kind of you. Riyad, I don't know how close we're gonna get to Soho. I mean, that's a very kind offer, too. I'm just kind of walking around the village now. Let's see if I can. I want to walk up that block. Just gotta get past these grates. But what is the name of your coffee shop, Riyadh? I mean, uh, even if I don't make it over there, we can at least let the people know what it is. Soho. It's on Soho at Prince Street, Prince and what other streets? What's well, the cross streets? At least I've stopped coughing. That was just a, a short bout of coughs that we had earlier to deal with. <laughs> Janet, I don't know. That'd be uh, too much. Too generous. It's Rihanna's coffee shop? I see. I see, Joseph, I see. 
Hudson Bagel. Wonder how they are. Street's coming up. You refer to this as a dusting. Yeah, it's all relative, right? We don't get so much of this snow, so we, uh, we call this what we, whatever we can. Thanks again, Zilch. Donald Weaver, you work for the MTA. Sucks that you have to work, but extra pay. What are these cars doing? They shouldn't be driving so aggressively in the snow. That guy overtook him on a single lane road. Yeah, I think that kid might be eating random snow. Hope he's doing all right. The Gansvort, I feel like it's missing a letter. In Ohio, your temperature is 15 today. About the same as here, right? Uh, how much snow so far? I don't know exactly. Maybe seven inches? I don't know, I'm just guessing based on what it said has fallen, what the totals were, were supposed to be, and then what is remaining. I don't know. Let me just double check some messages. I gotta pull off a glove to do that. Ooh, and I should also, excuse my microphone sounds. Test, test, test. Uh, has it gotten quieter? I don't know, maybe not. 55 in Dallas to call it cold. Oh, yeah, that's why it's all relative, right? Kevin, it happens. I'd be sniffling pretty much this much if it was like 40 degrees. My body just reacts to cold that way. I guess it's just a way to uh, lubricate the airways. I don't know. Yeah, Shields, so I, I've been to one Vanderbilt with wife and baby commuter, and I was gonna like peel away and stream for a little bit, but then we ended up enjoying it a lot, so I didn't. But yeah, maybe I should make a trip back. I'd like to be able to do like a sunrise stream from there. I don't know, I don't think they actually offer that. I think they offer sunset streams, but uh, I don't think they're officially open for sunrise streams or sunrise times, but maybe they'll be able to do a special event one day. Yeah, Maureen, can't stop it. And even if I blew my nose, I'd have to like do it every second. Defrat with the uh, 20, is that another type of Corona too? NOK20, thank you Defrat for the super chat. Get yourself a hot beverage after the walk. Thank you Defrat or Defrag T, I don't know. I'm just assuming pronunciations. I'll just say Defrag T. Defrag it, Defrat. Donald Trump has made it to the stream. What a day, what a day. <laughs> what, what is this? What is that, from, what movie is that from? Sensible Chuckle Magazine? <laughs> that corner house is very nice. I'll take it. Yeah, I take it. Will they, will they give it up? Diana, should you move to New York? It's up to you. Oh, did I did I miss the Friends building? Oh no, I didn't. It's right there. Yeah, Little Al. Friends building, right? No way that loft-looking apartment fits in that building, but 
is what it is. Yes, Carla, we made it. We're out. But I may start to wind my way north again, I think. Sergio, good afternoon. A phrase we don't really say that frequently on the stream. We're always out in the morning. George H., how would I rate this in comparison to other snowmageddons? Well, I've been in New York for some of the double-digit uh, snowfalls, and compared to those, I'd rate this one like a, a four or five out of 10. <laughs> Maybe even lower, depending. Slow mode is on, but slow mode only works for people repeatedly chatting, right? It doesn't slow down. If there's like a million people in the chat, slow mode wouldn't do much. And a hoop. No cars. No. Uh, I'd like to cross, I think. Yeah, we're okay crossing. That's a fancy looking school. I guess it's part of that uh, Episcopal church, potentially. All right, let's go this way. Five two zero is back. Hey, I feel like it's been a while. Hey, welcome. The problem with blowing my nose is I can do it. It's just gonna happen again. And then I'd be blowing my nose every two minutes. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna go down towards Soho at this point. But uh, don't, feel free to mention your coffee shop. I should have uh, offered a warning before I did that. <laughs> well, hopefully if anybody was uh, falling asleep, you woke up a little bit. <laughs> I'll, Allie, I think that's a horse. That was more like an element, uh, elephant sound element. Don't sniff, just let it stream down. Let the nose run off, lubricate the mouth. That doesn't sound right. Let's not do that again. Oh, look at those parking spots. I need lessons. iPhone 13 Pro. Stefan Weiss Studio. Oh, it's that little house. Isn't this the house that was moved from Upper Manhattan? And it is, doesn't it also have something to do with the author of Goodnight Moon? Huh? Anyone? Uh, if somebody wants to look up the history of it, we're on, I think this is Charles Street. And that is Private Drive, 121 Charles Street, I guess.
How are my toes? My toes are good. I'm not even wearing wool socks. I'm wiggling them just fine. I feel them. I feel good. My fingers are worse than my toes. They're the ones in the heated gloves. Ridiculous. Sorry, I purposely sniffled. <laughs> sniffled right into the microphone. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Reminds me of that South Park episode. Sorry. I'm sorry. I think South Park might be coming back this week. Anybody uh, aware? Yeah, these boots are just uh, Oboes, O-B-O-Z, I think. They're hiking boots, really. But they work quite well. Perry Street. Left bank, Adam, anything? Down? Down, kick the baby. <laughs> Phantasms, here. I feel like I haven't seen in a little while. With a $50 super chat. Uh, dreaming of a white post Christmas. Well, that this does fit the bill, I guess. And thank you for the support as always, Phantasm. Thank you, appreciate it. Very generous of you. Oh, it's a motor vehicle repair shop. Okay. Wasn't sure. Thanks again, Phantasm. Is that the entrance for that building? Kind of nice. It's a good way to put it, Phantasm. That's right. Ooh, this corner building's for sale. Let's go across the street and examine it from a distance. Slid down. All right, I'm gonna cross first. Well, this is also a nice building. I imagine it looks very different in the summer with the vines being full of leaves. Three fourteen West Eleventh Street, I guess. Not a very big building, but I imagine it's gonna sell for quite a bit. Yeah, me yeah, exactly. The trend of the meats and the packs. I feel like that's not right, whatever I just said. What means crap load? That kind of reminds me of that one comedian who said he was learning about the versatility of the S word in the English language and how it could mean so many things. Crap load just means a lot. Like, for some reason, it's implied that it's a lot. Even though it might not be a lot of crap in any situation, used in that phrasing, it just means a lot. Origins of that? Don't know. 6.5 million, and I imagine it's not a very big house. But for that price, I don't know, you're, you're paying for the area. Ah, my eyes. Oh, oh, why is this sneaking in? Super chat snuck away, hold on. Roto V with a $50 Mexican pesos. New fan from Mexico, Miss New York, awesome stream. Thank you, stay safe. Thank you, Roto. Appreciate the support. Thank you, thank you so much. Also, D'Agostinos. Well, I guess it's a fitting for the village here because it's an expensive place, but there it is. And before you want to have a coffee at midnight over there, well, if you don't really need to sleep, does this have something to do with like anybody know the history of this D'Agostino's? No, definitely not getting sick because this like has its own little established 1932 side. Is this like one of the original, if not the original, D'Agostino's, or is it just saying that? Anybody? Is Dag's that much better than regular supermarket? No. 
In fact, I would say it's worse because it's expensive. Let me turn around. That's a pretty powerful wind right now. If there's sticks tissues in my nose, that'll help. Just plug them up. <laughs> I'm sure that's going to be healthy. Yeah, does any, maybe somebody knows this D'Agostino's on Greenwich Street is historically like one of the first ones or headquarters or something. I just don't know. How's RJ heading out? Always good to have you. Our favorite music says I'm better than the Weather Channel. Well, we are, you know, boots on the ground, but it's also like one little location at a time. That's the only problem. I'll probably look that up later too about that Dags. Curious now. Bye, RJ. <laughs> All right. I guess we're getting closer to meatpacking, is that right? Now wait, what is this building? Is that a garage associated with this 820 Greenwich or is that just like a separate thing altogether? Hmm. Some pie TM, yes. A 66 in Mexico City. Not bad. I don't know, this is not necessarily a residential building, right? I see like, almost like a studio vibe, like art studio up there. There was a story about that garage. Are you messing with me on? Are you messing with me? Actually, I see like book, I think people, people might be using it as something. I see books in there, bookshelf on the wall. Anyway. G-Wagon, yes, right here. G wagon. Everyone's afraid of me getting sick now. I'll be fine. Ooh, ooh. I don't know. You got a little close to the car in front of him. Got to be extra careful. Also, I'm pretty sure that Land Rover had the next right of way, technically, but anyhow. Pretty sure that uh, Highline is going to be closed today. Not that I'd necessarily want to go up there because it uh, has bad service as it is. With the snow, I don't think it would be much better, but. We do all get sick from time to time. I already had my, my sickness in December. I'd like to say I'm good for a while. <laughs> At least I hope. <sighs> oh, do they charge fees just to get inside the, the district now, Adam? <laughs> Gosh, I always feel so embarrassed to not remember the name of the person, like the first official vlogger, right? Or something like that with videos. Oh, did I miss anything? Hold on. No, I think we're good, right? Yeah. Five Ninth Avenue. Lashera High. You know who I'm talking about, and we always forget too. Wow, that that W in Jersey. There's kind of ominous. Sullivan. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Yeah, being sick isn't bad. It also means you're. The immune system is operating. Sixty ninth Street between Park and Madison. That's where D'Agostino's officially opened.
How about now? So the sound is gonna be very bad now. Um, there's no windscreen. I'm using the iPhone audio. What happened was, even though it looked like my battery was fully charged on the on the wireless microphone, I think it actually. Uh, I think the cold might have actually affected the battery or something because I know I charged it up again. Anyway. Hell, it's going to see some of these old songs. Anyway. I'm assuming the cold has something to do with my battery being so finicky. exactly why I was looking for my wired microphone because I figured the more technology I have the more uh, potential for failure I couldn't find it so I have another one coming just to have for backup in these colder days uh, yeah yeah the high line is closed but yes I wasn't gonna go towards the river I hope they just kind of start heading north Maybe I'll go to Hudson. I don't know. We'll see. Let's get to 14th Street. How far is Times Square? About 30 blocks north. A couple of avenues to my right. Yeah, the Highline Elevated Park right up there. Closed right now. Oh, that's so not a bad idea. They're definitely affecting things. But I can't I can't fully take it off the gimbal because it's also part of my balancing. So I just unplugged and just left it there. <laughs> no problem, Fantastic. Thank you for your support. Ooh. Some overhead cover. Dutch bike blogger, good to see you too. Excuse my audio. Hopefully it's not too bad. I feel like the iPhone 13 has a decent microphone, it's just there's not much I can do about the wind anymore. Is my Instagram the same name? Yes. Uh, Nightbot also intermittently uh, links it. This gimbal is very good for stabilization. It looks like the Horizon is doing pretty well today also. I think that also gets better as, uh, as we go on. Oh, Little Island is right there. Hold on. Tesla, of course. Tesla, the headlights. Is there anybody here today? The lights are on all the Teslas, it looks like. Maybe I shouldn't go towards the river because of the microphone situation. Arlene Flower, thank you, Arlene. Let me make a right then here. At least we can see a little island for a moment. I'm pretty sure it's closed also. I don't really want people going out there in this weather. I see the gate up. At least we saw it. Message. That's a lot of wind. Yeah, it's gonna 
sound much worse than it was before because of the uh, iPhone microphone instead of my dedicated mic that has a mixer. But, you know, we just gotta roll with it, adjust as we need to. Remember the Google building issue, says Adam with five hours to stay away. Yes, good idea. I think they mostly happen on that avenue. So I think if I stay back here and just go up a couple more blocks, I guess we'll find out. But thank you, Adam, again for the support and the very relevant, very important information. And we're definitely not going into a Chelsea market because that place is a dead zone. That it is. Though if you do want to look inside it, I did a 360 video of it in the holiday times up on the channel. I think that would have copyright music issues too. It up unmonetized because we worked it's worth it to see because like a ballet dancer so Robin and send out send out Canadian thanks so much for the tour my dad and I love watching your streams from Calgary hey thank you Robin for that support very kind of you appreciate it thank you glad you and your dad are enjoying okay, so that's Chelsea Market We'll be skipping due to its service problems. Uh, so you see, it's like they're trying to push me towards my town. See that? That's what it feels like. So I gotta see if I can sneak by. building is called like the beehive or something. California. Norway. Oh, sorry, not the beehive. Lantern house. I don't know why I was thinking Beehive. Lantern House. That's my shields in Vancouver. Tax Consulting. A show out in Alaska. I'd love to see a live stream from Alaska. You can actually see the edge up there.
I'm trying to understand what I'm looking at. Can anybody interpret this? That Murdoch way. I heard that Daredevil's coming back. Down on Netflix. I thought I read that recently. And is it going to be the same actor? Kim, thanks for stopping in. So probably towards uh, no audio again no I should be back uh, Janice check if you're maybe you're rewound in the stream a little bit well I guess you wouldn't hear this if that's the case somebody in chat maybe let know Janice might not be live for her unless somebody else is not getting audio either okay let's head towards Hudson Yards maybe that's where we'll uh, wind down the whole stream I think that's not a bad goal. Jessica, doing well. truck go because they have the right of way at the moment they have to turn about you all somebody's moving today that's a uh, it's a tough day to move am i freezing cold nah not really not really i know it sounds like i might be with the whole sniffliness and this and that but that's just standard for my body i said body really weird just now Unknown which projects I see. Clement Clark Moore playground. In these conditions, yeah, it's not a. I wouldn't say this is the best time. But you know, sometimes this is the only day you can move. And that's what you gotta do. And you'll remember it for a long time. Ooh, Empire Diner. I've never been here. It looks like a, I mean, it looks like an old school diner, but I imagine they also charge a lot of money at this point. Adam? You ever read those threads and it's like, or see the original posts and it says, let's go to the comments section. Adam? like the slush sounds. It's money, so it's like just a lot of money for diner food then. Sounds like the moon struck for it. Maybe commuter's ready to bear the snow. Maybe we'll take her down once the snow stops. Just to, uh, you know, see what it's like. But she can't really walk yet. Consistently, so. I don't, really, don't want to, like, just dump her, dump her in the snow.
room pays for dinner, the taxi and shields, that's good. I mean, you could eat out. Yeah, if you like eat street meat, you might be able to be all right. Because it's like five bucks for chicken and rice. That was part of the restaurant, man. I think it is. I actually have like hiking boots on, and they've done quite well. It is Lawrence. Doesn't look like that car is very made well for snow. Really hope. The question is, can you locate where it's coming from and then retrieve some? That's the big question. Two questions. Locate and retrieve. That sounds like a mission. Ooh, look at those icicles. Icicles, the perfect murder weapon. All right, don't don't pick up any bad tips here. Slippery. Oh, your roommate's making. Okay, so at least it's not in a different apartment. Hopefully, your roommate understands that if they're making garlic bread. You know, that's not something you can just make for yourself in a multi-person apartment. That's just a given. Very big then. Is it just like in the front? Huh. Oh really, Rudy? Good to know. Wow man, that's awesome. Yeah, snow seems to be something that draws folks. Average, if you're in a non doorman building, probably about that. Once you pop into the some of the luxury doorman buildings, you're gonna go higher and higher. It also depends what area of Manhattan, too, of course. So, it depends. I guess check out Street Easy. Street Easy is the place to look. On Street Easy, you kind of, uh, 
you can put neighborhoods, put bedroom and bathroom uh, things up, or how many bedrooms and bathrooms you want in them. And you can uh, put your price range and see what you can find. It's street easy. That's probably more in like the uh, like Midtown, Upper East Side, Upper West Side, and South, like all the way to the tip of that. If you go more north, Central Park, you might find something more affordable. But yeah, the farther away you are from Manhattan, like Midtown area, the cheaper will be most likely. possible to get up on those steps and get into the Hudson Yards area, will I be limited? And you'll have to go through or around the mall. Let me check. Like, I'm not looking to go inside places because I think it's closed. Yeah, I guess you might have to. Is it now? I don't know. Is it almost 2 p.m. here? I guess we can go to the shops at Hudson Yards. Sorry, Whole Foods. There's a whole like outdoor ish mall on that side of the street up on the second level there. Fun little area we discovered the other time, the other day we were here. Usually they don't have any issues with us recording in here, so I'm gonna use this opportunity to go through the mall and go uh, go to the west more towards the vessel and see what that looks like in the snow. Jason Momoa is in talks for period, uh, Fast and Furious 10. Oh, does The Rock won't do it? Are, isn't Jason Momoa in The Rock? Somewhat related? Or no, I'm not even making stuff up. Maybe I'm making it up. Maybe I'm not actually. I don't know. Something her but... Shops. It's still very slippery here because of this floor. My, my, my shoes are wet, so I gotta I gotta tread carefully and not slip. Let's see, we're gonna head towards the vessel. Uh, the other outdoor area. I don't know about this music, though. I feel like it might cause some trouble. So that's concerning. Been good for two hours. See, that's that's one of the things with with the um, with YouTube that's annoying because the whole two-hour stream could be invalidated for monetization because of uh, a one-minute segment. And if I use YouTube's tools to remove it from the live stream, it kills the chat forever. Like it deletes it. Anyway, unfortunate. I'll buy some baubles and bits. Those will be some expensive baubles. There we are. Oh, that was a shorter walk to, to the back than I remembered. Uh, I gotta be careful with the snow on my gimbal right now because it's melting in here. That's my biggest concern. Outside, do you see that? Wow. Do you see that? How's Twitch for streaming? Depends. I think it's, it's probably the more original streaming platform, so theoretically it might have more features. I think that little s snow cyclone, snow, wow, look at, there, there's, they're all over the place up here. All these little tornadoes. Well, that, that one's generated by a snow plow, I think. Anyway.
Fox Hotel. Uh, I think it's the cheapest hotel in the city. Okay, I'm just kidding. Not even close. There's another one over there. It's pretty cool. What happens? What do they call these snow piles on the edges of the road? Because now you see it's like impossible to cross the street here. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. All right. All right. That truck was backing up. For those people who are going behind, that sounds dangerous for everyone's. Uh... So. Snow jumps in. Oh, that guy's having some trouble over there. Yeah, they're, they're, they can be beeping him, but he's got to clean off his things. Look at that thing I like. Look at how it's maneuvering. It's a single person vehicle, I don't know. The edge is in this building, I think. should once again get back. I'm pretty sure everyone's got to be off the maps by now. I feel like I should get even though I did get that snow in earlier. I think it stayed at the angle. Some more of those snow, snow natives. You wouldn't mind doing that for 10 minutes? Yeah, some of that seems pretty fun. Right?
think it's, uh, you know, considering the battery on my main microphone died, it's gone for over two hours, it's almost 2 p.m., it's not after now. I think it's time to, uh, to pop out, tap, tap out of this one, and uh, get back to the family. Fairly. So yeah, let's, uh, let's call it quits here, my friends. Thanks everyone for uh, for joining today. Sorry, the microphone died near the end there. I guess the, the cold and the battery just didn't mix. You know, it, the adapter was my uh, was my uh, prediction for. That's not a prediction. It's a spoiler. It's my prediction for the failing point. But it seems like it was the battery of the wireless microphone. So hopefully, I'll get my uh, my microphone in soon for any future cold weather snow walks. But in the meantime, I'll charge everything else up. So yeah, thanks again everyone for joining today. I appreciate the generous super chats and super stickers. They're all very kind. Thanks to subscribers. Good seeing some uh, some folks that I haven't seen in a while. In part, probably because it's my fault for having to stream so early. <laughs> On my commuting days. Space growing, yeah, sorry. But good to, good to see you for a second. So yeah, super chats, super stickers, YouTube members. I guess I'll couple new ones too. Thank you for that. Uh, Patreon, PayPal, appreciate it very much. This morning on PayPal, I remember seeing I appreciate you. I'll try to uh, be more mindful of those in the future, too, so I can announce them later because I know you'll get uh, uh, the appreciation you deserve. Hey, Teresa with an H. With $10 super chat for a warm beverage. Thank you, Teresa. I'll have to pick something up as I walk. Yeah, until then.